I found the leak. <clears throat> it's that thing again. So today we'll be uh, doing a lot of little projects and fixing up things. This is a game changer for us. Filling up the air bladder now. Got the car. Alright guys, it's in place. Pretty easy, you know, we just swapped out everything. Wow, it filled up pretty quick. Now let's see how long. Is that zone one? Yeah. Well, at least the tree will give it some protection during the summer heat here. That'll be nice. Got a branch here. I'm trying to fix the right. There we go. There we go. Now, are we going to um, have to put in anything to stabilize the uh, the yeah, piping, like a strap or something? Nice. It's so nice to not have it clicking on and off all the time. Yeah. Oh, this is good. This is a huge game changer for us. The uh, problem was, is the bladder broke in that other tank. That's what I was doing. I was checking to see if I could inflate that bladder. Uh huh. The it old wasn't tank. Inflating. It wasn't inflating. So we were just pumping it straight air into the tank when it was in. Pumping straight water. There was no bladder. There was no bladder left. What size is this? It's only about a 25 gallon. 25 gallon. We've been running off over years. Actually, it looks like. No, 20. I found, I found the, yep. And it's been there for years, you can tell. So this is over four times that. Yeah, this is. It just now kicked on. It. And it's quieter. Well, because it's not going. Ear, 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 yeah. Ear. Do that again. <laughs> That's the dad look. <laughs> so, what is it? What is it um, set at for to click off? About forty six. Clicks between 40, 40 and clicks off at, 60. at 60 and this is 86 gallons compared to a 20 gallon compared to a 20 now will this also give us better water pressure too no it's going to be about the same water well okay so now the next thing to do maybe in the next couple of weeks is just to build a little frame around this then right straighten we we'll have to move that thing to build a frame around it well i thought we were going to do like a three-sided with a slant roof or something not with that tree right there ah. well i was talking more like protecting that we build something over this. yeah that's what i was talking about that way we can protect it, cause that wood, that wood is about ready to, it's about had it, yeah. and we don't need that falling over and then jerking the electronics, the electrical wiring and all that out. Yeah. 
and we did pick up an extra switch just in case so because uh that one pipe the little pipe broke how's that seal work in there good Yeah, we bought straps so we won't have to use the uh, the bricks anymore. Well, I'm going to dig a post here once I clean all this up, but we need to work on Laura's bed frame. Yeah, that's fine. This was just getting everything back up and running. It's just so nice. It's just so much nicer. Yeah. I'm glad we did this. I well, really am. To. It wasn't... Yeah. We went ahead and finally got one, 86 gallons, well water tank, pressurized, versus 20 gallons. <laughs> and the bladder broke on this one. Four times as much capacity. Yep. And then here she is, all put together. We are so happy we did this. We are going to, um, later on, build like a little three-sided, um, like a lean-to type deal. Because uh, we got to uh, put straps on these pipes to stabilize them a little bit better. Clean this area up. Um, we're not going to do that today. We're just going to go ahead and run with it. But this is, uh, is this the Everbearing? Yeah. Everberry mulch, uh, mulberry Dwarf tree? Everbearing dwarf everberry mulberry tree sorry and um during the summer the sun comes this way it'll come from this direction so this tree will actually provide some shade for the tank too so that'll be a bonus too won't heat up as much and it's so much quieter 